Education is fundamentally about sharing. Teachers share their knowledge and skills with students. Students share their questions and drafts with teachers. Those teachers share feedback, criticism, and encouragement with their students. And on it goes. In fact, if there's no sharing happening, there's no education happening. Education is sharing. Period. In the past, the only way for teachers to share with students outside their classrooms was to capture their knowledge and skills in physical artifacts like books. Unfortunately, for every additional person you hope to reach this way, you have to print another copy of the book and ship it somewhere around the world. It would be a terrifically expensive enterprise to try to reach even a tiny fraction of the world's learners this way. But the internet changes the equation. Instead of printing and shipping millions of physical books, a single digital resource like an electronic book can be copied and downloaded an infinite number of times at essentially no cost. The internet makes copying and distributing free. That means we can share on a scale unimagined in all of human history, which means we can educate like never before. Except that we can't. Well, not legally, anyway. You see, long before the internet was a gleam in an engineer's eye, copyright law began regulating the way we make and distribute copies of creative works like educational resources. Thus, the internet was born with a genetic defect that unmade its incredible ability to enable free copying and distributing. What the internet enabled, copyright already forbid. And this is precisely why open education is so important. Creators and authors of textbooks, research articles, and other educational materials can place an open license, like a Creative Commons license, on their works. The Creative Commons license tells everyone, hey, I'm giving you permission to reuse, revise, remix, and redistribute this material to everyone around the world. When a creator or author applies an open license to their educational materials, we call the result an Open Educational Resource, or OER. OER are so critically important because they unlock the full technological power of the internet. Everything the internet enables, OER allows. And with open educational resources, for the first time in history, mankind has the potential to truly democratize access to education. And that is why open education matters.